Hey everybody, we're the Pearson Cusack Real Estate Group. I'm Sean C. And I'm Jamie P. And we are here to bring you the month in five for the month of December. Woohoo! All right, Silver Triangle. This month, there was one house listed and one house that went into escrow and it was the same house. <laughs> and that was 12075 Laurel Terrace Drive. This was a large lot, just under 11,000 square feet. It was listed for $2,116,500 and it sold in seven days. We'll get back to you and talk to you a little bit more about why we think that's a good sale for your neighborhood. Absolutely. There were two closed sales in the month of December. First one was 12234 Cantura Street. This was a two bed, two bath that sold off market, zero days on market. It sold for $1,706,250 at a price per square foot. Are you ready for it? $1,288. That's a big one. That's a big one. Um, second one was 3736 Vantage Avenue. This house was a five bed, five bath home, 4,291 square feet. It sold for $3,216,000 at a price per square foot of 749, with the average price per square foot in the Silver Triangle at $1,019 for the month of December. How does that compare to the rest of Studio City? Well, Sean, I'm glad you've asked. <laughs> because the rest of the Studio City, there were seven new listings that came on the market. One of those seven was one of our favorite listings because it comes out all the time. I looked it up and it had been on the market 25 times since 2008. And that property is located on Iredell. It's the old Kardashian's house. It was the fake Kardashian's house, not really where they lived. It came on the market a couple days ago for 8,250,000, uh, which is a, a pretty nice 1,051 a square foot for that 7,843 square foot house. That's pretty good, interesting. Good. There were 11 pending sales of, in the month. And um, the, the stats go like this. The average pending sale price per square foot is $873. The average size was 2,940 square feet, so just under 3,000. The average days on the market was 52. And the average sales price was 2,667,000. So um, that stands about what we've been seeing. Yes, for what, right around what we've been seeing. There were 28 closed escrows in the month of December. The average price per square foot is $911. Again, right where we've been seeing it, the average sales price is $2,403,550 for that 2,700 square foot house. And it sells in about 32 days. Great. So is there a notable sale? It's what we just chatted about. So our notable sale for the month comes from the Silver Triangle at 12075 Laurel Terrace. The reason it's a notable sale, it's again, one of these large lots, just under 11,000 square feet. And we saw how quick it was jumped on, sold within seven days. We are anticipating it sold for over asking price. And um, I think it just shows that if you have one of these larger homes, there's a huge demand from developers and contractors in the area to develop subdivide you know do things with these lots that are are getting sellers top dollar yes absolutely so we, we're thinking at minimum your house is probably worth 2.2 million dollars the land alone yeah. i think is worth you know two two yeah so yeah, absolutely so if you'd like to discuss that more yeah we're here for you happy to help as we walk in your neighborhood all the time we're constantly seeing the new construction that's going on and we're aware that on every block there's there's one to four projects so the, the market's still strong as far as developers. Uh, so if you get that kind of property, you know, I'd love to talk to you about that. Usually we talk about our featured business yep. and uh, this month we're just gonna recap um, all the featured businesses that we did in 2021. Yep, all of which there's something yummy at each stop. Yeah, you can see what we like. <laughs> <laughs> First one is the window in Venice. It's an insane burger spot. You got to try it if you're up in this area. Absolutely worth the drive. Yeah, I understand they're about to open their third store. They've got two in Venice and now they're going to open a third store, I think, in like 
East Eagle, side of LA. Yeah. Eagle Rock, something like, something like that. Park. Yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that. It'll be a little shorter trip. Um, Giamala Subs in Burbank. Shout out to Giamala's. Giamala has a, an amazing pepper steak and pastrami sub. Uh, we went deep into, into Giamala's and what they are and what they mean to the city because they make some of the well-known pastrami for leading restaurants all over the city. So we got deep into that. What else we got? Uh, third restaurant was Egg Tuck, which is an incredible, uh, amazing breakfast sandwich. Yeah. And there's two locations, Koreatown and West Hollywood. It was the best breakfast sandwich I've had. If you like those fluffy, soft eggs on a, you know, that brioche kind of toast, oh man, it was, it nailed it. It was awesome. But what can you get at Uncle Polly's? <laughs> Uncle Polly's, well, you know, again, we're breakfast sand sandwich uh, driven. So you can get a, an amazing breakfast sandwich, but they also have the sub sandwiches, the, the combos, the paninis. You know, if you're into sandwiches, they've got something you're going you're gonna to love. So keep an eye out. Should open any day now, any oh, moment. Please. Okay. We've got the CVT ice cream truck. If you haven't tried CVT soft serve, it's a must try. Yep. It's not a brick and mortar. It is a, it's a food truck. Um, you two can, food trucks. Probably. Two food trucks. Yeah. See it along Ventura and all around the area. CVT stands for chocolate vanilla twist. And Jamie's got his favorite. What's your favorite order? You add a little of that sea salt on top. It really changes that ice cream. It's yeah. really something. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so let's stay with the uh, cold desserts kind okay. of things. All right, so Fatto Morgana was the gelato, the Italian. The oh Italian is that? Fatto, Fatto Morgana. Morgana. Um, which is, uh, they're based out of Italy. Uh, they are the real thing when it comes to gelato. You see, it even makes my hand go like this. <laughs> so um, if you haven't tried them out, be sure to try them. What, 60 what? 55 flavors. Uh, 60 it, flavors. It was, it was more than fingers flavors. I have on my hand. So and so gelato sushi. All right, well, stick well, with stick it. it. All right. <laughs> We've got Salt and Straw. Amazing ice cream spot for the more eclectic and um, interesting flavors, that is a spot you gotta try. And there's um, there's a location right in the Silver Triangle if you're if you're one of the neighbors in that area. Yep, and there's one in the Tahunga Village. Yep. Uh, Studio City is very blessed to have two salt and straws. So Absolutely. that's really great. And last one. But not the least one. No, round off the list with something a little bit more savory, yep. which is Daichan in Studio City. This is Japanese soul food at its finest, and it is very good. Matter of fact, you know, it's been cold lately, and it just screams it's <laughs> Japanese comfort yeah. food. Yeah, absolutely. So that is our recap for 2021 um, featured restaurants and businesses, and we hope that you went out and tried some of these, some of these recommendations. What is your secret spot? What do you want us to feature? Because we're looking for... Anything and everything. Always open to it. And yep. it doesn't have to be food. It can be, you know, is there a great retail sh spot that, you know, s features great clothes or, you know, interesting items. It, it doesn't matter to us. We want to discover all of what Studio City has to offer for us. That's right. That is it for the month and five for December. Wow. We're what done. A, what a year. 2021. What a year. Thank you for everything. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Thank you. That's right. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. Look out for more videos to come in 2022. We hope you have a, an amazing 2022. And we'll see you in the hood. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.